my name's Howard Butler, and today we're going to be talking about why fragmentation is still a problem with SSDs. Now, a typical user trying to create a document doesn't really write directly to the storage device. It's got to go through the Windows file system, the NTFS. It's got to go through various different internal components, such as the master file table, the storage bitmap file, and as a result, a file can be fragmented and broken into many pieces, regardless of the type of storage. It doesn't really matter if it's a mechanical spinning type of disk or if it's a solid state disk. The fact of the matter is that Windows treats them both the same in terms of how it allocates data blocks. In fact, we see that there's a, a virtual disk representation where Windows starts with the first addressable address to the end. So if a user needs to create a file, it may have a, a logical cluster starting address of 131742 for a size of, let's say, 2 KB. Then the next address might be 147821 for 16 KB. And then this goes on and on and on, where Windows can reference a file into many thousands of pieces. So as a result, you wind up with data being written here, and you have some data written over here, and some data written over here, and some data written over here, and it goes on and on and on and on for every different extent for that file. Now, each of these different addresses are referenced in a separate I.O. request. That I.O. request goes out to the storage and comes back. Each I.O. request does take a measurable amount of time. Even though it's done on an incredibly fast drive, each I.O. takes that amount of time times the number of individual pieces a file is broken up into. So as a result, you wind up getting less than the manufacturer's stated performance values when the file or the free space is badly fragmented, testing has shown that an SSD might only be capable of doing 100 megabytes per second in terms of its speed and performance. But ideally, what you want is a file that is not fragmented and the data being referenced all in one, one segment. Under these conditions, you're able to achieve the manufacturer's rated uh, performance values, let's say upwards to 250 megabytes per second. And that's really the reason why you purchase an SSD in the first place, was because of its speed and performance capability. But you'll never ever achieve those values if the file system, from a Windows point of view, becomes highly fragmented. And tests have really shown that these two values are, are capable uh, of, of incurring this type of performance loss. Now one of the other things about SSDs is that the memory cells, once data is written there, you cannot write data on top of existing information. So there's a specialized technology that has to come into place to erase that information before new data can be written. But you can't just erase one memory cell. An entire group or page of memory cells has to be erased. But even worse than that is that that entire range of memory cells may actually have some valid data associated to it. So you wind up incurring copying a bunch of data to a new location so you can zero out and erase that chunk of information. All of that takes extra time. So conducive technologies has a, has a solution to this type of phenomenon. It's called DiskKeeper, and it has a technology called uh, Hyperfast, which is designed specifically to work with SSDs to ensure that when data is written, that it's written in the most contiguous, non-fragmented condition, such that you have the fewest number of IOs, you have fewer amounts of erase activity occurring. This improves not only the speed, but increases the longevity of your SSD, which is obviously a big concern for people. You didn't buy a Ferrari to go as fast as a Volkswagen. So in this case, you bought an SSD, you spent extra money, you definitely want to achieve the highest performance value possible. So with that being said, I think you would agree that SSDs are affected by the speed and performance. And if you have any questions or concerns about that, we can assist you with some testing. So thank you very much for listening.